And while Hong Kong may be known as a shopping paradise, it also has a bustling art scene, as is one of the locations for the renowned annual Art Basel show. Now, the world-famous Christie's auction house there is holding a seasonal sale and is expected to attract true art collectors who have millions to spend. From a basket painting to a ceramic box from China's own history, it's a bidding place powered by valuable pieces. Now, let's follow our reporter for a closer look. Here at the Hong Kong Exhibition Center, Christie's is hosting its autumn auction. It's a week-long event where a wide range of art and luxury will be offered over four auctions. A focal point from the 20th and 21st century art collection is this rare masterwork painted by Gerhard Richter in 1991. Called Abstractus Build 7471, it's worth at least 15.6 million U.S. dollars. It will also be Richter's most valuable artwork by estimate to ever be offered at auction in Asia. It belongs to a suite of four works and was created using a squeegee to manipulate the painted surface. Abstractus Build is the continuation of Richter's lifelong investigation into the function and purpose of painting. Nearby, towering at almost eight feet, is this 1992 painting by Jean-Michel Basquiat. It features a striking figure in the middle of a burst of colors. It's hard to miss, and so is its price tag of 25 million U.S. dollars. From works by artists like San Yu to Chu Te Chun to Jade Fado Jutimi, visitors have a plethora of options to bid on. I think we have to be mindful to tell the story of female artists who have been so overlooked over the centuries, to tell the story of black artists. You don't need to tell the story of the same ten artists over and over again. So the trend is tell the truth, tell the story as it is, how the world is changing. Aside from Western art, Chinese ink paintings like these by Zhang Datian are ones to look out for as well. While many are here to bid, not all items are for sale. Except for this painting, everything else back there is just for viewing. Called Francois Gillot, a celebration, it's an exhibition created in honor of the French artist's 100th birthday. These are some of Gillot's most important works from her career. So Francois Gillot and Picasso shared a relationship between 1943 and 1953. Uh, this painting here that Francois Gillot painted in 1953 shows her looking very strongly forward into the future. Relaxed, she's wearing the modern clothing of her day. And then we have, by comparison, an interesting uh, depiction by Picasso here, also around the same time, depicting Francoise in a very different way, although the palette may be the same. It's interesting to compare how she sees herself in this final year of their relationship compared to how he depicts her. That's not all. Paintings aren't the only attractions. From the Chinese ceramics category, this is an extremely rare imperial main cloisonné enamel bracket lobed lotus box and cover. The base is in size with a six-character rain mark from the Jingtai period, which is almost 600 years ago. Meanwhile, for luxury items, the Snowdrop Diamond, a 73-carat diamond necklace, leads the pack for jewelry, and these two Patek Philippe timepieces are the front runners for watches. And finally, in keeping up with digitization, those wanting to social distance can still experience all of this virtually from the comfort of their own homes. Anne Chang, CGTN, Hong Kong.